Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Poor Boy's Little Homestead. Today, we're going to be talking about PEX pipe and PVC pipe, the differences and how to repair your lines, the tools you will need, and just an overview of the differences between them and how do you repair your busted lines. <laughs> To start out with, most everyone knows the old PVC. This is just a bunch of pieces that's glued together that I cut and removed from somewhere. But if you got different size pipes, you got half inch hot water, which is thick wall, and then you got half inch cold water, and then you got half inch hot water thick wall, and three quarter cold water, three quarters. You have to make sure what size pipe you got, and what wall thicknesses is. And a lot of times you can see that written on the pipe in black markings. You might be able to find that to tell you exactly what piece of pipe you have. But you, fittings comes in L's, 45s, couplers, some call sleeves. You can get them with threads in one end, 90s with threads. All different types of fittings. But your basic fittings only going to be your sleeves, your tees, your 90s, your 45s when just repairing pipe. Usually if you're repairing pipe, like that there, that's a half inch female made to screw onto a half inch hot water. That's a thick wall. Example, like if you were screwing onto a bottom of your faucet or faucet outside or something like that. You, got, you have to have glue. This is a multi-purpose cement. That's what I always get to multi-purpose. Some say you gotta have cleaner. You open it and clean your pipe. Take a rag, dry the cleaner off. Put your glue on the pipe. Put you some glue inside your fitting. Shove them together, and you want to make sure they're shoved all the way, all the way down. I always give them a little twist when I do it. But the reason I said some say you got to have glue uh, cleaner, if you got just glue, you can put your little glue around that pipe and then take your rag and wipe it back off, and it'll clean that pipe just like the cleaner. So if all you got is glue, that's all you need. I'll attach a video above showing you how I got a video of how I made you can make fittings if you get in a bind and you ain't got a fitting just like this is a sleeve if I had a leak and I needed a sleeve but I ain't got one look in the video above shows you how you can heat this pipe up and make a sleeve out of your pipe just as good as them especially if you in a bind and can't get none What you would need with PVC pipes, some type of cutter. For years, I cut them with a hacksaw. But these little cutters here is nice. You can just put it around your pipe. And just like working a pair of scissors, and it cuts the pipe right in two. So these are nice to have on hand. So that's just a simple, simple repair having to repair PVC piping, what you need, and of course you'll see what fittings you need as you start to repair if you need one with the threads in it, and then that'll be a, you have to, like I said, find out what size you're screwing on, because these comes, you can get the PVC side, and then you can get the other end, it could be male, female, it could be three quarters going to a half inch, three quarters to three quarters, three quarters to an inch. 
It's all different kinds of fittings, hundreds of them. Now, PEX pipe is my favorite. PEX, and this is half inch pipe, which is what my home's plumbed with and travel trailers is plumbed with. But it don't glue together. It's a little more expensive for your tools, but they ain't too bad. I just got a little, little set of crimping pliers because like I said, half inch, sometimes three quarters. And these will do that. But if you're doing bigger size pipes, you gotta have a bigger size crimping pliers. Well, how it works, you got your pipe and it's flexible. The good thing about this pipe, it ain't supposed to freeze and bust. It'll, it'll freeze, but it'll swell up. It, it allows it to swell up. But nine times out of 10, where you gonna get your bust is in a fitting. A lot of these fittings is plastic. Like that's a plastic 90. Plastic T. There's a plastic half inch male threaded on one end. Half inch to a half inch female thread on one end. But you can get all this in brass. Cause here's some brass that I got. Now if it's brass, it ain't gonna bust in the brass. It, it might would bust your pipe then. But if you got plastic fittings, only that's where your pipe's going to bust when it freezes. Just like with PVC, you can get all kinds of fittings. There's an L with a half inch female that's made to screw onto a faucet. But one of the most important pieces that you can have with text piping is to always keep you these little plugs. They come in plastic or brass. For example, if you got a leak in your bathroom under the sink and you ain't got the right fittings to fix it, all you got to do is get under there and always leave you enough room that you can repair your line later. But you can back down there, take these cutters, cut your line under that sink. You gotta have these rings. They come in whatever size piping. This is half inch, so this half inch rings. Crimping rings. You put your ring over that pipe. You stick that plug in it. You put your crimping pliers on there. And you crimp it all the way down until them pliers bottom out. Then you can go on and turn your water back on and you got water everywhere else in your house except for that sink until you get the right fittings. So that's why it's very important to always keep them plugs. Now I didn't cramp this plug. I cramped at the end of it because I didn't want to lose my plug. But this is what these little plugs look like. They come in every sizes for all different pipes. That's a half inch. Make sure to always have these cramping pliers and rings on hand for whatever size piping because this can get you out of a bind until you get what you need. One thing people mess up is when they put these fittings together, this is instead of a sleeve, PVC got a sleeve and a pipe goes in it and you glue it like that. Pex is basically nipples. It goes inside the pipe. But what you got to make sure you do is you got to put your ring on first. Put your fitting in there, whatever it is. This is a nipple. But make sure you get that ring halfway. You don't want it way out here on the end of that nipple like that because it may not crimp right and leak. You don't want it way back here on the end. You want it halfway. Let me get up close for y'all to see that. What's stuck in here, it sticks in there that same amount. That's approximately five eighths of an inch. It's going to go in that pipe. 
Like I said, make sure you got your ring on first. You put that in there, and you want that ring setting halfway before you crimp it. You don't want it way down on the end. You don't want it way out here on the end. You want it halfway. If you don't, you'll have a leak. And the only way to get them off, once they crimp, is take you a Dremel tool or something, cut them to save your fitting. Again, pack fight comes in all different sizes. It'll be wrote on there what size you got. Red pipe, blue pipe, and clear pipe. It's the same PEX pipe. No difference in it but the color. They just color code it because a lot of times when plumbing, your blue pipe means your cold water, your red pipe's your hot water, and your white's just a universal, but you, all of it's universal. You ain't worried about what color it is. It's the same pipe. And like I said, it's wrote on there what size it is. In case you got three quarters or one inch or half inch or whatever you got. So you know what fittings to buy. What rings to buy. All the different kinds of fittings. There's a vial. Like I said, it's a little more expensive for these fittings. But if you can get brass, pay the difference and get the brass. Because if you in freezing weather, that is where it's going to freeze and bust on that plastic. If you got brass, it'll allow the PEX pipe to do what it's supposed to do. When it freezes, this PEX pipe will expand a little bit and keep it from busting. Where if you had PVC, it'll bust quickly. Like I said earlier, if you look back in that video, you'll see where I used a heat gun or a torch to make fittings. But with PEX pipe, you can, it's already flexible. You can heat it a little bit. And if you got room, you can make a 90. It won't be a sharp 90, but you can heat it and bow it around curves and corners to get you out of a bind sometimes until you get the right fittings. You get it heated, see it'll bend on around there. Another thing, if you ain't got a nipple to join two pipes together, and that's the only way you can get water, you can heat the end of this pipe And it don't work as easy as it does on PVC, but it will work. And this, this works better with a heat gun than a torch. PVC you can get by with a torch or holding it, holding it over the burner on your stove. Now guys, what I'm doing here, this is to get you out of a bind. This ain't no, you wouldn't want to do this and just leave it as your permanent fix. But if you didn't have a fitting you needed, and you need to put two pieces of this pipe together, you can heat this and make it slide over the other one and then use glue, the PVC glue, for a temporary fix. And again, I'm going to say that. This is for a temporary fix. I ain't trying to tell people they can plumb the house like this. But a lot of times with all these ice storms like what just happened to us, we ain't got but a couple of stores that sell plumbing. And by the time you get there, they'll be sold out of what you need. You can put a piece of pipe together like this until you can get to another place, go to a further town away, or the roads clear up where you can get to another town, or the store you purchased from, get some new parts in or something. Take your punch and stick it down in there and it'll help start spreading it out. It'd really be nice if you had a punch that's exactly the size of the outside of that pipe. Mine ain't, and I ain't got a punch at exact size, so I'm just trying to loosen it up here. All right, see there? 
that slid up in there about an inch. You let that pipe cool. And after it cools, you can pull it back apart. If you got some PVC glue for P, uh, PVC pipe, put it on there and push it back together. And that'll get you out of a bind until you get the proper fittings. Like I said, I wouldn't leave this like that. If you ain't got PVC glue, and if you just got super glue, crazy glue, put something around there and stick that together just like that, then you can have your water turn back on until you go get the proper fitting and then you can just come back and cut it on each side. And put your coupler nipples in there and crimp it together and you're good to go. Like I said, the PEX pipe works better with a heat gun. PVC, you can do that same thing. You can do it with a torch and stuff, it works. It's a lot easier to do. But guys, like I said, you need your cutting pliers, crimping pliers, and your crimping rings. Keep, when you buy this, don't just buy a ring. They come in a pack, but keep extra rings on hand because you'll mess up putting one together and don't get it crimped just right and you'll have to do it again. Most important, keep you a bunch of these here. These are just plugs. You can plug off a line, have your water everywhere else throughout your house. Like I said, if you got a leak in your far end in a bathroom or in your kitchen, one line going to your sink leaking, you can plug it off. You still got water in your bathroom, every, anywhere else throughout the house. You got a line going out to an outside spigot and it froze and busted. Cut it, put that plug in there and you still got your house. You can utilize your bathtub, your hot water heater until you get the fittings you need. So I hope this little video helps someone out there. It's very easy to do. Guys, y'all ain't gotta call plumbers just one, one plumber to come out there to fix one simple pipe. You can buy extra pipe, all these fittings to have on hand. I keep I keep a bucket here. It ain't gonna have every fitting I need, but I tell you what's in that bucket. It's every fitting I need to fix my travel trailer when I'm off working. Even what it takes to screw on under the faucets. You can have buy all that extra fittings and keep them on hand. This PEX pipe comes in a roll. You can buy it 25 foot rolls, 50 foot rolls, 100 foot rolls. You can buy little four foot sticks at your big box store. Just keep it on hand. Simple. Anybody can do it. Again, I hope this video helps somebody out. If you like these videos, give me a thumbs up. Now I keep them coming. Thank you and God bless.